My name is Joseph Krisaya. Uh, I had an MRI test done there a few years ago and I had some problems with it and then I went to see my primary care and a neurologist and a cardiologist and they all tell me that in fact I have a referral from the primary care um, it says to come back to your office but uh, I'm not coming back for a test so I, I'm, I'm going to guess that I can just ask the you know get some information over the phone instead Okay, um, okay, the, because um, what the primary care, he, he gave a referral, now he didn't give a referral to get an actual MRI test done, uh, he gave the referral just to get uh, information from what problems may have occurred during an MRI test. And this, and... What do you during the MRI. Right, right. I think, are you the same Michelle? You're, you're Michelle Miller, right? I think I spoke to you one time before. No, you went to a whole bunch of emails with me, sir. Okay, so it's the same person. Okay, great, great. Okay, yeah. And what I'm going to tell you right now um, is um, because of the letter that was sent. Okay. Um, and because of the letter notifying us that you were getting legal counsel. Okay. You're not allowed to speak with me without my legal counsel. Now, okay. And if, and, if you're gonna, and if the doctor wants something, they're going to have to place it in writing. Okay, because the doc, right, right, because... You'll be able to send over the information to them. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out why you cannot give me the information. You're welcome to come in, sir, and send me your picture ID, and I can photocopy you your chart. You can photocopy what item? And I can photocopy your chart. My chart, okay. Um, right, because, okay. well, well, actually, we have, yeah, because actually, because what happened is, you know, right now the, the primary care is with the state Medicaid plan, and they gave like a universal referral slip to come to your office, and uh, they're trying to figure out, uh, because, I got a letter from your office saying that there were no complications and stuff, but we are trying to figure that matter out. So you, you so you are saying you you cannot give me any information and you can give other people information? I cannot give you any verbal information and if your primary wants it, there's a form that they send us with your signature on it. And that's to get what kind of... You can get it from us that way, sir. Okay, okay. And I was just wondering now, when I had my test done, who was the supervising physician? Was there supposed to be a physician? Was that Dr. Jacobson? Hello? Dr. Jacobson is one of our supervising physicians. Okay, so... Uh, I don't have your chart pulled, so I don't know which doctor was supervising during your procedure. We have five of them. Oh wow, you have five of them. Okay, so okay. so so you had five doctors way back in in 2013. Okay, sir. Okay, hello. Sir, hold on one second. We're done with this conversation. Okay. Okay, so Michelle, I was just trying to get. I thought maybe you had some additional information, but you should realize that I've already contacted the police and the state's attorney's office as well. So it's more than just my legal counsel. Okay. Okay. And and and, I, and I've actually named you as well, Michelle. Okay. So so I do I see something. Right, right. What I want to know is actually Michelle the Sir, sir okay. once again, I'm with this phone call. Okay. Okay. But my physician is trying to get the information. They're trying to figure out what's going on. Sir. Yes, ma'am. With the conversation, and you can follow normal procedures for obtaining your medical notes. 
But I do have my medical notes. You sent my medical notes, but you haven't answered the pro. And you are going to listen to Eagle, and you can contact your attorney. Okay? But okay, but hang on a second. Hang on a second. I'm see, I'm the patient. I know, I know. I'm the patient. I'm trying to get information. It's not a question about my attorney. You're the patient who wants information. Okay. What I have is a report from our radiologist. Okay. And what you need to do at this point in time, okay, is contact your referring physician. Okay. Right, but it shows on the report that it says there were no ca that there were no complications, and obviously there were a lot of complications. Okay. And apparently, and apparently, and apparently, your office we didn't did not notify us of any complications. And apparently, your office did not have any problems discussing the matter with many others who called in. And so, so it seems you're only not discussing the matter with me. You, are you telling me that you did not discuss any of this matter with anyone else who called in? So we're trying to get this information, Michelle. This is part of my medical care. And, and part of what's going on is because this is part of a state Medicaid program. And we're trying, I'm sorry? Sir, you need to calm down. And when you're able to have a rational adult conversation with me, then please contact me. Okay, well, I am having a rational adult conversation, but no, you don't you seem to want to answer my question. Me and, and if you would like, you can place it for me. Right, 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 because the only issue, I understand, I understand, but you're supposed to, when you participate in the state Medicaid plan, and when okay, a, a physician referred you under that plan, you need to follow those rules. And please feel free to call the state of Maryland, and you can call Medicare. And then you can call your attorney. So there's reason I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out why I need to contact all these people to get my medical information because okay. we are Once we are trying to treat because 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 you you, you do I do I do realize with you right 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 I do realize with your okay. a piece of paper okay okay done as a release a release actually send it your primary care. And what exactly will you be... Right, right. Because here's the problem. We are trying to figure out about... Explain to you how you are able to officially obtain your information. Okay? And you do need to follow appropriate procedures. And, okay. But the, okay. the issue is... Now we're completed with the conversation because you know what you need to do. Okay? Okay, well, that's too because I, I already have. Now, are you telling me this is the record it says electrically signed by Dr. Jane a John Athus? That's the report? I have that report. Hello? Yes, sir. Right, it says, you mean this report, it says electrically signed by John Athus, MD. Okay, um, sir? Yes? I don't know what you're looking at, so I can't have an intelligent conversation with you. Okay, but you cannot, but, but you are part of the state Medicaid plan, and when the primary care is asking me to get some information from you, you should give it to me so that, uh, because... Hey, once again, I said I didn't have a problem with giving you your medical notes. I told you what you needed to do. Right, it's not the medical... Right, right. I notified you of what you need to do. Right, right, because we have the medical... I know, I know, the... The medical notes that you gave, I have already. I'm sorry? Once again, you're welcome to call Medicare on me, and you're welcome to call Medicaid. Well, I've already called the police on you, so you should know that. I'd like to call. I know. Well, okay. I, but I've already called the police on you, Michelle. Okay. Okay. So, so you should kind of understand that, you know, I mean, I mean if, if, you, if you like to tell me, so, Michelle, right.